In the first international T20 match played between New Zealand and Australia in 2005, the Kiwis and Aussies had entered the field sporting retro hairstyles and handlebar moustaches and had goofed around on the field. From fans to the players, very few people seem to have taken the format seriously. And so, when the 2007 T20 World Cup was announced, the International Cricket Council and its media team decided to play up this reputation. All its advertisements boasted how this was a big party. The game was much shorter now. There was more razzmatazz with cheerleaders and party music on the grounds. The gentleman's game, once the stuff of Sunday morning tea for old British gentlemen, was being played for a younger generation accustomed to fast-paced sporting action. It was a subtle but definite first step for cricket towards the football direction. The first World Cup even had a bowl out for tiebreakers designed on the lines of a penalty shootout. A year later, India, the winner of the inaugural T20 World Cup, took the next giant leap. Designed on the lines of European football leagues and sporting a name reminiscent of a certain popular English football club competition, the Indian Premier League came wrapped in all the festoons one usually associated with European football. Player auctions, foreign players, teams based in capital cities, colourful jerseys and most importantly, a budget bigger than any other domestic cricketing event till then. With cheerleaders, theme songs and mascots, the party atmosphere was also reminiscent of another very different culture of football, the American Football Leagues. And in the 15 years since its inception, the IPL has inspired several cricketing nations to come up with their own leagues, the Australian Big Bash being the most famous among these. We also had a Champions League T20 for a brief while. IPL itself has entered the big leagues when it comes to sheer revenue numbers. In 2022, IPL became the second most valued sporting league in the world with a pre-match value of over $13.4 million. It is only behind the National Football League or NFL, whose per game costs about $17 million. That's followed by the English Premier League at $11 million. The major league baseball figures are roughly the same. Most importantly though, experts believe that cricket as a gaming culture too has taken up shades of football. The recent on-field spat between Virat Kohli and Gautam Gambhir was reminiscent of so many angry team huddles we have all seen on the football field. So, is the old gentleman's favourite becoming more aggressive and physical? I don't necessarily agree that it's particularly new because cricket has had this all the way through the years. You can go all the way back to the England-Australia bodyline series in the 1930s. There was that aggression. There was that drama. And I think that is something that us as fans want to see. Like That's where the viewing figures come from because we want to see players who, who care and who believe that, you know, that our team is our jerseys worth fighting for. As clubs become increasingly indistinct from each other because they are much more like a big business rather than a kind of quirky individual club that's something that gives you the authenticity everybody wants to see this this is exactly what we want to see so i think it's something to kind of celebrate and what are some of the major aspects of club football that league cricket will find difficult to replicate in the short run this creation of franchises as trying to be kind of unique clubs in their own right rather than things that burn very brightly very briefly i think it's very difficult to create that part of it is it's passed down from generation to generation and for that to happen a club needs to be in one place and called one thing and have this kind of common thread that runs all the way through over time i think it probably can happen but it requires time it requires time to build up that loyalty to build up those stories and that meaning and that meaning doesn't come from winning and it means something by being consistent and having values and having something that is beyond sport for a long time Experts point out, therefore, that while it will take nearly two to three decades for league cricket to capture the frenzy and fan imagination, not to mention garner the levels of fan loyalty that European club football usually enjoys, top performing leagues such as IPL are definitely a start in the right direction. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.